Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center demo, Managing Infrastructure Fabric, Discovering Compute Resources. During this demo, we are going to show you how the vCloud Automation Center Infrastructure Administrator configures the system to discover the compute fabric resources that will be used to deliver IT services. The first step is to configure the credentials required to access the fabric device managers. Credentials can be shared across multiple device managers. The next step is to configure the management endpoints that vCloud Automation Center will use to discover and manage the underlying virtual, physical, or public cloud resources. Configuring an endpoint starts the initial discovery and configures policies so that ongoing rediscovery of changes to the environment happen on a regular basis. Let's get started with our demo. The infrastructure administrator is the person who defines and manages endpoints that are required to interact and discover the infrastructure resources. vCloud Automation Center discovers and manages the underlying compute fabric through the device managers that manage those resources. To communicate with these device managers, the admin, admin defines managed endpoints for each virtual, physical, or public cloud device manager. This sets up the initial discovery as well as ongoing rediscovery which happens on a daily basis by default. The infrastructure administrator has two options for configuring managed endpoints. They can navigate to the infrastructure tab and then select the endpoint command. Or they can select the fabric configuration option from the goals navigator. There is a separate video on how to use the goals navigator. The goals navigator walks you step by step through all the tasks necessary to complete a process like infrastructure fabric configuration. In this video, we are going to use the Fabric Configuration Goals Navigator to guide us through the setup process. This video will only cover the first two Fabric Configuration steps, specifying credentials and configuring the Fabric endpoints, which will use those credentials. The first step is to specify the credentials. As you can see, a number of credentials for different device managers have already been configured. Let us quickly edit one of the vCenter Device Manager credentials so that you can understand the information stored in this policy. As you can see, each unique credentials has a name, description, and a username and password. All passwords are stored and sent in encrypted format. Now that we have completed a review of how to specify the endpoint credentials, let's look at how to configure the endpoints for the various compute fabrics that vCloud Automation Center will manage. Our demo administrator has already configured managed endpoints for a vSphere private cloud, Amazon and VCHS public clouds, as well as physical servers. vCloud Automation Center provides two methods for adding managed endpoints. They can be defined using the administrator GUI. As you can see, there are a number of options for virtual, physical, and public cloud endpoints. They can also be imported in bulk from a CSV file. The bulk import is useful if you have a large number of physical servers, each with their own managed endpoint. In this demo, we are going to show you what information is provided in the endpoint configuration by editing an existing vSphere endpoint. Although there are slight differences in the information that need to be supplied for each endpoint type, they essentially contain the same information, which includes the endpoint name, description, address of where the management endpoint is located, and the credentials used to communicate with the endpoint. Once an endpoint has been configured, the initial discovery process starts immediately. Let's look at the type of information discovered by vCloud Automation Center. For example, on VMware vSphere, vCloud Automation Center would discover and manage through vCenter. To enable management, the vCenter administrator adds the managed endpoint with the appropriate location and credentials required to access each vCenter instance. This information is stored encrypted in the Automation Center repository. Once the vCenter management endpoint is defined, vCloud Automation Center initiates ongoing discovery to identify the available physical resources, virtual machines, and their associated policies like clone templates, customizations, specifications, as well as network and storage configurations. To manage other virtual resources, the administrator just needs to add endpoints for the respective VMware, Microsoft, Red Hat, and Citrix device managers. Automation Center will discover and manage resources that have been configured by those device managers. Discovery and management of physical resources is similar to your virtual infrastructure. 
Automation Center manages through the physical server device managers. After the management endpoint is defined, the physical resources, including machines that have already been provisioned and their respective policies, are discovered. Discovering public cloud resources is very similar to discovering virtual or physical compute resources. You define a management endpoint, which could be VMware vCloud, Amazon Web Services, or Red Hat OpenStack. VMware vCloud Automation Center then discovers the compute resources and policies associated with those managed endpoints. In the case of VMware vCloud Hybrid Services or vCloud providers, those resources are virtual data centers and software-defined services associated with those virtual data centers. In the case of Amazon Web Services, those resources are geographic regions, availability zones, and their associated policies and services. In the case of OpenStack, there are no resources discovered, but VCAC discovers policies like OpenStack images, machine flavors, security pairs, and groups. This completes our video on Fabric Discovery. There are additional videos available that will review other aspects of the Fabric configuration process. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and we hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.